Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the two main aspects of data visualization that we do normally. I'm Leila from Radakot and we are going to see that how we can tell a story with data. So we do uh, uh, kind of do the data visualization for two main aspects. One is to explore the data. Another one is to explain that what is happened in the data. So exploratory and explanatory can be the process uh, of the hunting for the pearl, uh, as the actually call Cole mentioned in his book is about that when you're going to explore the data you are going to hunting for the pearl about 200 different uh, actually oyster you may check and just find one so you're going to search for specific things and in explanatory you are going to show and talk about the, your funding and the process that you have to the audiences so totally different aspects and because of the aim is different so they focus on that in the exploratory analysis we we're going to learn more about the data. So yes, we may use different visualization, but the, the main important thing is not just to focus on a specific aspect, it's about to what is in the data, data quality, finding data errors and gap, missing values, or check the other aspects of the data. That's actually help us for proposal. If I want to back to the Power BI example. So, for example, what we can do in the other uh, things that we have under the uh, data view. So, we are going to see that what our data is about, uh, how many rows of data that we have, check the data quality over here, and also check the column distribution for some of the data can be really helpful to analyze that. Also, this is the one we can um, use some of the features here. So, uh, to kind of check the different aspects of the data and uh, to better understand it. So uh, when we understand the data, uh, we understand what is happening in data, we able to actually create better visualization. So the aspects of creating the model, even creating a simple visuals, just to check what is happening in the data. So this is about exploratory analysis. In the explanatory analysis, our focus is our audience. We want to attract the attention to specific parts that is matter. We can use different size, color, position on the page, and some others that actually help us to use the pre-attentive features that I explained in a previous video to attract their attention. So for example, uh, in using the same chart for the two different aspects, for exploratory analysis, we may don't look at that much on the coloring to provide the attention of the user to the first 10 one with the different colors. But in explanatory analysis, we may doing that or in the chart. So maybe in exploratory analysis for ourselves, we may use different colors. We don't care that much about what color we are using. But when you're using to explain to other user, it should be has a uh, follow the uh, familiar uh, uh, kind of the range. So for example, from darker to lighter or using the red color for the bad things, green for good result and yellow for the moderate one. So these are the things that actually we already know and we're doing that. If you're doing the explanatory analysis, one of the important things in design your Power BI report is to follow horizontal logic. So horizontal logic is based on that we have a main page that talk about the overall of the reports and in the other pages, we actually looking back to what we have. So if I back to the uh, one of the visual, it's not a really great one but just to show you how's the idea so in the first word uh, for, uh, page i'm talking about the adventure works uh, about the internet sales and reseller sales so you see uh, anything about the sales amounts coming from internet from reseller people the order quantity and you get some idea what is happening here so in the first page you see the whole idea of what is happening here talking about a and b and c so here i talk about the sales amount of the reseller sales amount of the internet sales and in the next page 
Of course, you can use lots of navigation that we have. I'm just going deeply to look at the internet sales. So now is the topic that I have. Or in the other pages, I'm going to just talk about the reseller sale. So this actually helped the audience to have a narrative from the start point to the other parts. Another important thing that is matter when you're designing in the one page, you better talk about one topic, everything about one topic. So for example, uh, if you talk about the sales, so that page better to be talk about the sales solely. And if another page is about order, so it's better to be about the order around that topics. You can include some, but the main topic should be that. So again, if I back to this chart, for example, for internet sales, uh, you see that actually we analyze internet sales by English education. Uh, we, based on the people that actually have highest internet sales by year by month so everything is here talk about internet sales so internet sales is the focus of this topic while in the reseller one as you can see most of the focus on reseller reseller by year reseller by kind of the time series for reseller by different countries so most of the topic is about reseller so that's also really important that actually aspects that we need to consider when we're designing a Power BI report to the audience. Of course, it's better to use the fresh perspective from others and try to find the storytelling uh, about that one and provide a better story to talk about that. To, uh, so to tell a story and also going from the uh, uh, kind of the going from the summary page to the detail page. Also, you can use some of the techniques that we have in Power BI, like using the tool tip to first sell the uh, topic as a summary. And then if people want to see a detail, they can use the tool tip. Or you can use the master detail page uh, for that scenario to see more specific about that topic. So there are different approaches in Power BI that actually help us to uh, follow these two principles, that is horizontal logic or uh, vertical logic. Uh, I hope that you like this video. This is all about the visualization concepts. And you can see uh, they are not theory actually in the Power BI. We're able to actually follow these rules and it helps us to tell a better story and better uh, explanatory uh, report to our user. Thanks so much for watching this video.